everybody, welcome to the Wild Dog Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a day in the life. Today's day in the life is in collaboration with Julie from Mama to Five and Abby from Rooted and Rest. So when you finish watching this video, and you're going to want to watch it all the way till the end because there's a surprise, make sure you head over to Julie and Abby's channel to watch their day in the lives too. The only thing that I know for sure without a doubt is going to be happening today is that I have a podcast interview at 2 p.m. So our day will kind of work around that, whatever we can get done before and then whatever we can get done afterwards. But that's the only thing I know for sure that you're gonna be seeing in today's video. Are you ready to begin the jungle challenge? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's see if Bear can teach Omar how to survive. Chapter one, reach for the record. Omar's eyes lit up as he spotted the poster on the bulletin board. Special prize, that's mine. All the activities at camp were listed on the board. Sailing, night hike, crazy golf, horse riding, but it was the brightly colored words next to the Minds and Muscles relay race that had caught Omar's attention. He picked up the pencil next to the sign-up sheet and wrote his name. A leader was tidying up the old notices from the board and she smiled. That one's a favorite at every camp, but hang on, you need to say which type of obstacle, too. She tapped the columns next to the names on the sheet, and Omar took a closer look. Omar thought, in a normal relay race, each person in a team carries a baton part of the way, then hands it over the next runner. But this one had obstacles and mental challenges, too. Which type was for him? Hmm. So, I started with my Y's. Oh, look at how beautiful those Y's are. My yo-yo is yellow. Kylie's yo-yo sways. Okay. And then I did my J's next. Oh, those J's are looking pretty, 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 pretty too. Oh, you wrote July. What is July? My birthday month. Your birthday month. Man, your handwriting is fantastic, baby. I'm so proud of you for all the hard work you've been doing. Thanks, Mommy. I'm proud of you, too, for wanting to write better, and so you picked a book to help you do that. I'm super excited. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and pick a card from Are You Ready for Fourth Grade? Yes, ma'am. All right. Which card are you going to pick today? Hmm. Language, math, or challenge? Oh, you're going to pick a challenge for 300? Okay. Katie lives three miles from her grandmother's house. How many feet away is that? Hint, one mile is 5,280 feet. I'm going to give you this card if you want to go get your boogie board to help you write so you can do that. And then let's see if you can figure it out. No, I'm going to do it a times problem instead. Two, eight, zero, three. 15,840. That is the correct answer, and I am so proud of you. Set that down so we can show Daddy, and then come give me a hug, because that was some good math. Oh, good job, baby. You are more of a night owl, I know you said, so you uh, would definitely uh, embrace the flexibility of homeschooling in that regard, would you say? Absolutely. If it is happening in the single digits, I am not going to be there. <laughs> I, am a I mean, I am always like 10 a.m. or after, preferably noon or after, because I just don't, and that's really all of us. I mean, my husband adapted when he, you know, worked outside of the home, but now that he's home, we all are like, let us go to bed around midnight till 2 a.m. and we'll sleep until 10 or 11, preferably, and then start later in the day. And that's, that's just what works for us. And homeschooling affords us the flexibility and freedom to do it. All right. So there, the way it reads is to avoid startling a bear, wear the bear bell. And that's what it's called, a bear bell. 
you wear it on your backpack when you're hiking through bear country and as you move the bear bell provides a steady ringing and warns animals of your presence. The magnet inside the band helps to eliminate noise when it's necessary. So when you want to be quieter you put the bell on. Silence with the magnet. Ah, so it doesn't jingle anymore. Right? Isn't that pretty cool? Oh, that is so cool. Can you tell us a little bit more about uh, games? Do you have any other favorite games that you have been playing lately? Yahtzee for Kevin. He will always pull Yahtzee. That is his <laughs> hands down favorite game and it is always getting played on a game night. For me, it is either a word game. So right now I'm really enjoying Upwards. Or it is kind of an abstract thinking logic type game like Quirkle or Rummy Cube. And then for Emily, it is normally a card game. So a few of her favorites are Uno, Spot It, Dragonwood. This is Morse code. Okay. You know, some of your toys and stuff, like your walkie talkies mm -hmm. and things have had Morse code on them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they talk about like if... Uh, if you're on a stranded island, you can take a flashlight and you do Morse code with the light. They do walkie-talkies with sound. Some people say they're um, they're in a place and they can't get help, so they're they're doing dot 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 da da da. All right, they're doing Morse code. Um, Morse code is just like uh, learning to read a book, learning to write a book. It's learning to understand how Morse code works, what the letters are, and once you get it memorized like the alphabet, you can write, you can hear it and understand it. So all you're hearing is these, that's a dash and a dot. There's the dot, there's a dash. Okay, so you start here. If you start with a dash, and you go another dash. So one dash is a T. Two dashes is an M. Three dashes is a O. Okay, that's the direction that I need to be moving in to get there. Okay? Seven plus eight is five. Well, technically 15. I'm going to carry the one that makes that five. That means 12. So 125. Five. Plus 5 is 10, and that's 7, so that makes 7 plus 6, that means 13. Before we can read any more in Jungle Challenge, or read Can You Survive the Jungle, or read from our survival guide. I have to do the backpack? Yes, you need to do the backpack, because we need to see what you think you would pack for the jungle before we go any further in any of these. Because that will tell us what we need to pack. Exactly. So, you're going to go ahead and pack your backpack by drawing or writing the items you think you're going to need in here for a jungle challenge. So, what do you think you're going to need to survive the jungle? Hmm, what else do you need to survive? Um... Did you finish packing your backpack? Yes, ma'am. Okay, tell me what you packed. So, I packed a first aid kit. That's important. A map, because you need to know where you're going. Okay. Sunglasses. To protect your eyes. A tinfoil blanket. Oh, one of those blankets. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not a tinfoil blanket, a but... paracord. Okay. This is, um... What are those things? Oh, a graveling hook. A graveling hook, okay. A slingshot. What are you going to use your slingshot for? Predators.
Okay, what you need to do is you start taking out potatoes, red and golden, and put them in until that is 2.128. When you get that done, let me know. Got it. We want a true measurement, so we fill up our spoon. Okay, go ahead and pour that in there. Half a cup of chicken stock. Black pepper to taste. Two. Two, Two Bruce the Moose. Can't question. All right. Level four. Which state has the largest population of elk? Michigan, Wyoming, or Colorado? Colorado. Okay, so that's C. You want to check and see if he's right? Yes, ma'am. Which one do you say? Colorado. Wrong. It was Wyoming. Camp fun fact. Wrapped cold pop cans in aluminum foil, if you're out of ice, will keep them cold for a longer time. How many eyes does the box jellyfish have? A, 10, B, 24, or C, 2? The box jellyfish? Correct. Thank you so much for coming along with us today in this day in the life. It is always a joy to bring you with us. As you can see, we had a day filled with fun and our survival summer has already been such a hit for all of us. Now I told you if you watch till the end, there would be a surprise and here it is. We are going to be giving away three survival unit studies and three sets of the required resources. That means three people are going to win all 12 of the Bear Grylls adventure books, as well as the survival unit study. To enter to win, you must be subscribed to each of our channels, Julie's, Abby's, and mine, and then leave a comment. So each person will be choosing a winner from their comments. So technically, if you watch, subscribe, and comment to each of ours, that means you would have three chances to win.